And with the shifting grocery store market here in central Indiana, there are even more changes coming starting today. Yes, yeah, so the two communities will get new Meyer stores when they open in Franklin and McCordsville later this morning. Naomi Peskovitz, who was just French braiding her hair, is now live at the new McCordsville Meyer, where they were also focusing <laughs> on shopping from your phone, which apparently all the cool people are doing now, Naomi. Yeah, uh, you should try it out, Ben. It saves a lot of time. And if you're like me, you don't really love going to the grocery store. So when we talk about the changing grocery landscape, we have to talk about online shopping. So this new Meyer store, the one in McCordsville, opens here at 7 o'clock. And that means that folks will be able to order online starting here at 7 o'clock, too, from this McCordsville store. So we've pulled up the app here. It's called Shipped. We've made a our own little grocery list and yes you see cool ranch doritos on there of course they had to be on our list uh and this is how a lot of people grocery shop these days actually in fact we're hearing the cheering meeting going on because they're about to open for real uh but if you shop online you probably know how it works from the customer side so really today we wanted to show you how it works from the shopper side this is our new friend eve dickerson who is a shipped Shopper, thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thank you so much for having me this morning. We're thrilled to have you and kind of see the other side of how this all works. So I know a lot of folks are really curious. So I have my list here, and you see the same list when you pop up your app. I do. So let's get started. So I have avocados. We kind of moved them to the front of the store for time purposes. So you pick them up. Yes. And then what happens? So on my list, it will show up on here like this. And it gives me the option to actually scan the barcode. And there it goes. And so when it scans, it shows me that I am indeed getting what the customer had ordered. I think a lot of people wonder when they've got someone else, not that we don't trust you, but when they've got someone else picking out their groceries that maybe they aren't picking out the right kind or the best kind. Right, and we do get that a lot. Um, one of the great things about this app for any produce, anything that you actually want to buy, you can add notes to it. So if you want some that aren't quite as ripe, more firm, you can put that in your notes. Or if you want the super ripe bananas, you can also put that on there. So it's basically like having a personal shopper because the way that Eve does it is if she needs to ask you a question about your purchase, she can just send you a text message. You can text back and forth with her. And Eve's actually the one then driving to drop off those groceries to you. So with these two new stores opening, it really expands things, not only for people who like to come into the store to shop, but also for folks who like to shop online. And a tidbit here that Eve told me this morning, what is one item that is on almost every grocery list? That would definitely be the Doritos. <laughs> See, I'm not as crazy as you guys make me out to be. Doritos are in almost every shopping list. And she told me that. I did not prompt her for that one. That's good. I thought it was going to be milk or bread, but yeah. of course it's Doritos. All right, thank you, ladies. Some uh, great options.